Hey, what's up everyone? Hope you're doing well. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to get a hold of Matic on the Polygon network or just known as Poly, Polygon, and also how to get wrapped ETH, wrapped Ethereum on the Polygon network. And the reason for this is Valhalla recently, recently released their first NFT comic book series, and this was done on OpenSea.io. And what was used to um, buy and trade the comic books was wrapped ETH. And the reason for this is because Ethereum on the normal Ethereum network has very, very high transaction fees. So it just made a lot more sense to use Polygon. I'm going to be using to get started KuCoin.com and I'll be starting off from the example of maybe you have BNB in your MetaMask. So let's just say you have some BNB on the Binance Smart Chain, on the Smart Chain network, and you wanna get it over to the Polygon network. By the way, the Polygon network can be added to MetaMask, but we'll be demo I'll be going over that later on once we get to that. And also, this tutorial should work for you, not only if you're trying to go from BNB to Matic, but if you're trying to go from Bitcoin to Matic or from Ethereum or to Matic or USDC or USDT, quite a few different um, possibilities, which I'll all kind of be pointing out in just a second. So to get started, I'm here at KuCoin.com and I already have an account set up and logged in. If you don't have an account yet, um, anybody can set one up for free. And by the way, of course, this isn't the only way to get a hold of Matic. There's many different exchanges. This is just the one that we've been using and everything has been working well. So that's what we'll be using today. All right, so here from KuCoin, here at the, let me make sure I'm at the home page. simply go over to assets and go down to main account. Once I'm in here, since as I mentioned, I'm gonna be using the example of having BNB as what I start with, I can simply just search for BNB and BNB will come up right here on the Binance Smart Chain. I'll just click deposit because that's what I'd, I'd like to deposit some BNB to here. Yes, I've read that. Continue, specify the memo. Be sure to be clicked on BSC because if you're using BNB on there, then you're using Binance Smart Chain. So make sure you're selected on Binance Smart Chain. All right, all right, 0x97, just kind of making a mental note of what the digits start and end with. Okay, so I'll head up into my MetaMask, uh, click on my BNB that I want to send some BNB to this address, and I'll just be sending one BNB for now. Okay send that confirm and there we go the bnb has been sent off so while we wait for that to come through should just take a minute i'll just click back to main account and once it comes through it'll show up here hopefully within not too long and there we go within about five minutes the bnb came into my wallet next up we need to transfer it over to our trading account so simply click transfer. This is just the way KuCoin works where they have their main account and their trading account separated, which is a little different from some other exchanges, but once you get used to it, it, um, it makes sense and helps to keep things organized. From there, it is now in our trading account and we can click over here on markets in the upper left corner. So these right here are different trading pairs. And if I search for BNB, then I can see that BNB is traded for USDT. This is because we're selected on the stablecoin tab. If I were to click over to the BTC tab, then I can see that BT BNB has a trading pair with BTC, which is Bitcoin. And the next thing that I'm going to do is see what pairs are traded with Matic. So if I search for Matic, I can see that Matic is actually traded with BTC. Um, if I were to click back over the stables, Matic is also traded with USDT. But as I mentioned, um, I mean, either or, or would work, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to trade the BNB for BTC, and then I can trade that BTC for Matic since there isn't a direct trading pair for Matic and BNB. You kind of have to take an extra little step to get there, but we'll get to where we need to be either way. I'll be using BTC for this example, but just think of it like this. No matter what crypto you have in here, 
if it can be traded for either BTC or USDT, then you can trade it for that and then trade it for Matic. So if I was starting off with USDT, I could just send my USDT to KuCoin the same way I did with BNB. And then I could trade it directly for Matic, saving me any extra steps. If I had, let's just say, USDC, then I could come here, trade the USDC for USDT. Um, silly enough, just a stable for stable. But then I could trade that USDT for Matic, which is what I'm trying to get a hold of right now. Okay, we'll go ahead with the BNB and BTC. BNB and BTC. So the cool thing about when you are trading on an exchange like this, which is centralized, is there's not crazy fees for each trade you make compared to that can be one of the downsides sometimes with DEXs is there can be big fees, but that is not a not the point of this video. Nope, we do not need to give our location. Okay, let me enter my six digit trading password. And from here, if this is your first time using an exchange like this, it may look a little overwhelming or confusing, but try to not worry too much about all these numbers around and just kind of follow with what I'm going through. Of course, this right here is the chart for the chart for BNB to Matic. Over here, we have different recent trades. And then right here is the order book. Uh, these are different orders. Okay, so what we want to do is actually sell our BNB. So we'll be over here in the sell tab. And if you want to do a limit order, you can do a limit order where you're selling the BNB for a certain price. In this instance, I don't want to set a limit order and wait for it to be fulfilled. I just want to do a market order where it'll fill any um, kind of any order book, any orders in the order book as it needs. So I'll just do market, decide I want to sell the entire one BNB, sell that real quick. And since it's a market order, it went through instantly, completely successful. Now I'm holding um, Bitcoin in my trading account. So as I mentioned earlier, if for example, you already had BTC Bitcoin and you weren't going from BNB so as your starting point, then you could simply send your Bitcoin to KuCoin and go directly to Matic. The only reason for these extra steps is, as I mentioned, because there's not a direct trading pair. Okay, but we'll head back up to markets. Now we can take this Bitcoin and turn it into Matic. So we're selected on Bitcoin. I'll just search for Matic. There we go. Found Matic and BTC. And now we'll head back down here to the trading section. And I'll want to be doing a market order again because I want the trade to go through right away because I'm not doing a massive amount and doing different limit orders. And in this case, I want to be buying Matic. So it all depends on which way the trading pair is, what you're trying to do. I'm trying to buy Matic with Bitcoin. Go ahead and do 100%. You can do as much as you'd like. And I'll buy that Matic. And there we go. Order has been placed successfully. Now, if I head back up to my assets, I should now be holding, boom. I'm now holding $427 worth of, or 237 Matic right here in KuCoin. Now I wanna send this to my MetaMask. So I'll go ahead and transfer this first. I need to transfer it into my main account before I can withdraw it. So be sure to transfer it. You can simply click the available amount if you wanna transfer everything. Back over to my main account. Okay, so we now have 237 Matic in our wallet here in our main account. Next, we're gonna send that over to our MetaMask. First thing we need, we wanna do is add Polygon to our list of networks, simply from the dropdown. You can either click add network and then find all this information online and then put it in manually, or you can use a website like tokenmagic.app, which allows you to add a bunch of different networks. And we can add the Polygon network by simply clicking add, so with Polygon added, we can now open up our MetaMask and see that we have zero Matic as of now. So I'll just copy my address by simply clicking where it says account one, head back over to KuCoin, make sure my Matic is in my main account and click that I would like to withdraw this. From here, I'll have to enter the wallet address. So just paste that there, choose the network 
This is the Polygon Matic Network. And how much would I like to withdraw? Well, I would like to withdraw all of it. There is a maximum amount of one whole Bitcoin. And I'll go ahead and confirm that. Next up, I'll just, uh, let's see, confirm the address. And then confirm this with my uh, trading password. I'll get my email verification and my Google Authenticator. And with that entered, we can go ahead and submit the withdrawal. Just like that, we've made the withdrawal. And within a few minutes, should be no more than five to 10 minutes, our Matic should arrive. So next up, as I mentioned, we're trying to get wrapped Ethereum on the Polygon network. So we now have Matic. Next, we're going to be using, I'm going to be using quickswap.exchange to swap some of my Matic over to wrapped Ethereum. So here on Quickswap, wrapped Ethereum simply goes by ETH. So simply search for ETH. Just know that this is wrapped Ethereum on the Polygon network. Go ahead and click that. Enter how much Matic we'd like to swap over. I'll be just doing, let's just see, maybe 220. I'm going to be leaving a little bit of Matic for any fees that may arise, maybe purchasing the NFTs, but you don't need very much. Just leave a little bit there and I can swap that over. Confirm swap. So we can already see that our 0.127137 ETH is already in our balance. Next, I'll be opening up MetaMask. And if the wrapped ETH doesn't show up automatically, you'll need to import the tokens as we need to do here. Simply open and then we need to find the token contract address for wrapped ETH. I'll be getting it from Polygon Scan by simply going on Polygon Scan and finding wrapped ETH. I'll leave the this exact link in the description to make sure you don't end up with the wrong one because there could be a fake one out there. I'll simply copy the address, come back into MetaMask, go back into import tokens and paste the token contract address. We can see the token symbol will be filled in with WETH and the token decimal, which is 18. Go ahead and add that token and there is our wrapped ETH import tokens head back to our account and there it is okay so we now have achieved having Matic and wrapped ETH both in our MetaMask we're doing we're doing pretty good and if you're following along so far all smooth I'm glad everything's going good if any problems drop them down and we'll try to answer them in the comments Next, I'm over here at OpenSea.io forward slash Valhalla. You can get to Valhalla's OpenSea.io page from the official website and simply clicking on NFT and then on OpenSea. And that, then that should bring you to this exact site. If we scroll down a little bit, we can see the five pages of chapter one, which have all been sold for wrapped ETH. But we're just going to make sure our MetaMask is linked to our OpenSea.io and everything is working good. So if we simply click on this wallet logo in the upper right corner, and then from there, click MetaMask, the MetaMask window should pop open, asking you to connect your, your wallet. Yes, we'd like to connect. And there we can see our ETH on Polygon showing up. We also have this Ethereum, which is on the real Ethereum network showing up, simply because I also have some ETH in my MetaMask on the Ethereum mainnet network, but don't worry about that. This is what's important. So with that set up, um, all linked up, and if you wanna customize your profile and stuff, once it's linked with your MetaMask, you can do so. We are ready for future NFTs, or if we'd like to go into some of these ones, see what the going rates are, we could place a bid for a, a price that we're willing to pay. Um, there's people, some people willing to sell them at certain prices. You can do that all in here and that'll all be done with wrapped ETH. So that is how you do it. As I mentioned at the beginning, this isn't the only way to do this. There is different exchanges to get a hold of Matic. There's different DEXs to get a hold of wrapped ETH. This is just one of the many ways using some of the main exchanges that are well known and many of us have used and so far no problems. So hope you found this video useful and we'll see you in the next one. Valhalla out.